Hello, Nigeria. There's no better place to be, so don't you ever change that dial. What's up, everybody? It's Kavam Zasukwa, and you're watching Hello, Nigeria. And you're most welcome back. Thank you very much. This is Hello Nigeria, Special Health Tuesday. Last week, we started speaking about our eye health, looking at glaucoma. Well, today we will continue the discussion looking at cataract, refractive cataract to be exact. And very kindly, Dr. John Samsidi has agreed to come again to talk about this with us. He is the Vice Chair, Nigeria Optometric Association, and today we will be looking in detail at the condition cataract, how to manage it, and how to correct it. In some instances, thank you very much, sir, for coming. Thank Thanks you for having us. me again on the show. Thank you. Yes, uh, and the obvious first question is, what is cataract? Ah, uh, cataract, uh, you know, generally in, in Lagos, in Nigeria, when people have problems on the eye, mm -hmm. and then you see a lay person talking to a lay person, and he just looks into the eyes, oh, you have cataracts. Uh, cataracts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, the first, that's the first thing that comes to anybody's mind, whether it's red eye, whether mm. it's a leukocoria, whether it's a cornea problem, whether it's even glaucoma, they just tell you, you have cataracts, which is wrong. Mm. Okay? Because cataract is actually a medical painless condition that comes in gradually and um, um, it clouds the supposedly or what's supposed to be clear, the lens of the eye. So you have the structure in the eye that's supposed to allow light that comes from the outer part of the eye, mm -hmm. focus on the retina, and that supposedly clear lens is no longer clear anymore due to certain factors which we're going to discuss as we go on in the show, and it now becomes opaque. Now when it's opaque, light can no longer move from point A to point B, so we call it a cataract. So, but is it that the person has foggy vision? Or how does he know that? And those are the symptoms of cataracts oh, okay. now. So the vision becomes blurry. Now, now there's, there's different types of cataracts. There are some what we call traumatic cataracts. Now that can happen suddenly. So you had an accident and it wasn't properly reviewed because what happens now, maybe two people are fighting or you had an, maybe an, an arm robbery attack and they hit the eye with you know, the back of the pistol. It's very common and things like that. Or maybe they threw something at the person and then you now have a cataract. If... The doctor does not intervene immediately. It could develop into, you know, other things, even mm -hmm. more than cataracts, even what you call high femur, later stage high, hypopion. Yes, for the professionals listening to me, you could <laughs> mention that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but, but usually the common signs and symptoms are the blurry vision. So the vision becomes blurred mm -hmm. and then color begins to change. The person begins to see things brownish on the edge. And then sometimes in some cases, the person begins to have what we call diplopia like double vision. Light is always a problem. Driving at night becomes a very, very big concern for now, such people. Now, you've mentioned with regards to, okay, where, what people can identify as, um, as symptoms. symptoms of cataract. At what point should you start to get worried and seek the help of a doctor? Okay. Um, um, you, first of all, cataracts is usually more common in older people. So, rest assured. <laughs> the Older the, from what age? From... In this part of the world, mm. we notice from 55. Okay. All right. And I'll tell you why. While in the more developed climes from 70, 75. Pollution? Pollution, one of them, but another factor is exposure to UV rays from the sun. They are in a more temperate climate. We are in a more tropical climate. Mm. So, and you notice here, when somebody protects his eye, we laugh at the person. So if somebody goes out with sunshade, we begin That's to laugh fashion. at the person. Mm. We say, I don't know how to say it in Yoruba, but you know, they begin to say, ah, what does he think he is? Yeah. Or who does he, who does he or she think? You know, and they just, just begin to make, but the truth is, that person is actually doing the right thing, not wearing sunshades indoor. <laughs> no, no. That <laughs> and that's taking fashion to another fashion dimension. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but talking about wearing sunshades outside. Because even when the sun is not up, you have reflections from the sun. Oh, UV, wow. because you have the UVA, UVB, and the UVC rays. And that's why sometimes when people, um, buy sunglasses just like that. I say, well, it's, it's better than nothing. But they actually prescribed... So, yeah, protection. they write UV protection, like the one I use. Of course, you know yeah. they can write it on them, but, but it doesn't, doesn't mean they are... So where's the there. best place to get... Um, well, get we, what we advise is consult with your doctor. Okay. So opticians also prescribe sunglasses? Yes, yes. Even for people who have um, good eyesight, just for prevention? Pre yes, because prevention is the best level 
of medicine. All right, now let's talk about the prevention you talk about. Okay. Are there ways, you've mentioned one, which is uh, limiting our exposure to sun rays. Are there other ways that we can prevent cataracts? Is it, prevent, is it, is it preventable? Of course, for the purpose of this you know, program, it, we cannot touch every area, but yeah. one of the causes of cataracts, before we talk about the prevention, is, yeah. um, um, like I said, age is age-related. Yes. You could also have congenital causes, so it can happen in children. So the baby shows up and he's already having cataracts. In fact, there's this case of a twin. Um, one had full congenital cataract, the other does not have. And the parent was saying, um, it's the enemy. But it's not the enemy, it's probably what the mom had ingested during the course of the pregnancy, especially at different levels of the pregnancy, sometimes at the first trimester, second or the third trimester, but usually between the first and the second trimester, where the optic cup begins to develop mm. inside the mother, okay? Um, it's under a topic called embryology. It's, it's different from what we're discussing now. So. Um, that's congenital, that's um, age-related. Then you have that that is caused by trauma, like I mentioned before. Yeah. You have that that is caused by people that ingest smokes, fume. Yeah. So people that have a habit of smoking. Conductors, high... yeah. bus drivers. Yes. Ex exposure. Yeah. Then, of course, the general exposure to the sunlight, UV rays, UV yeah. bonds. And then you have those that are also exposed to people that work in bakeries, people that... Um, our people that fry bolly, you, yeah. know, you have to deal with heat. In other climes, you notice that they have protective Beautiful. eyewear when they engage in things like that, and welders too. But in Nigeria, I don't know, maybe you they know, feel in it's our extra money. Uh, well, yeah. that, that, you know, we talked about it last yes. week where we talked about um, um, it's more like the mindset of the people. So we just feel if I have to pay something extra, then it's not necessary. Oh, I'm a black man. I'm immune from all this. Yes, I think that's disease, a big disease. one. Disease. No, this is not white the case. African disease. man. But the yes. truth is, we're not beginning to see with the advent of a lot of things happening around us and information that we are not immune yes. to a lot of these things. And in developed clients, when they develop, when these cataracts come up, it's easier to handle because one thing about cataracts is it's very treatable. Mm. The most recommended form of treatment for cataract is surgery. Unlike glaucoma, where you have to manage it. Manage it. Yeah. So once you treat it and it's properly done, then you, you, you mm. are sure that it's dealt with. But another thing you must understand too is what has caused the cataract. Sometimes it could be diabetes. Diabetes is one of the causes for cataract. So if I see someone 40, 30 years old coming and is having an opacity, apart from trauma, I'll ask for his medical, medical history. history. Sometimes they have the diabetes and they are not aware because we don't have this, um, uh, what do you call it now, this culture of having a full, diagnosis. full health um, medical checkup from time to time, not to talk of the eye or the dental or the ENT and things like that. So what we always advocate is that people make it top priority to have their eyes examined and things like that. And, and not to wait for a problem to not surface. Not to wait for the problem to surface because now, you know, when people, you know, call in like this, they're like, okay, I have this, what do I do? <laughs> but there are no quick fixes to mm. already existing conditions. It's great so. you mentioned calling because we're just about to open the phone lines as well to get okay. people calling in. Okay. I know some people are watching and are quite curious as to what's happening to them and you'd like to ask Dr. Samsudin what you should do. We will be opening the phone lines now. The phone numbers are scrolling on your TV screens. Please avail yourselves these numbers and ask any question you might want to ask about your eyes. It might be cataract or today we'll excuse because, you know, we want to look at the eye broadly. If it's something related to it, by all means, you know, he Please, mentioned... it has to be related to the eye. It has to be related to yeah. the eye. Please don't yes. ask us. You cannot eat for the past few days. <laughs> Your tummy is running. Unfortunately, we will not be able to answer that today. But for today, everything that has to do with your eyes, in particular, cataract. Please and, call And, you in. know, at the beginning of the show, you mentioned cataract stroke refractive. Yeah, refractive. Now, let me clear that. Mm. You know, you have cataract problems and you have refractive error problems. Now, mm. refractive error problems happen to... Um, um, take a huge chunk of the eye problems, mm. according to WHO statistics. And if you ask any eye doctor practicing in the world, they will tell you, if 10 people come into the clinic, it's a likelihood that 70% of them have refractive error conditions. So what is refractive, refractive error Refractive error, error conditions are, if I were to break it down, are problems with bending right light appropriately to fall on the retina. So some of the light rays fall before or behind the eyes, which causes mm. things like myopia, hyperopia, astigmatism, or presbyopia. Um, let me slow down. Because Let's the way you're looking at break like I lost you. Layman's time. Okay, so when we say someone is short-sighted, okay. the person has a, refra a type of refractive error. When we say someone is far-sighted, the person has a type of refractive error. When we say someone is um, 
having to use glasses, like what we see our parents use, the kind of glasses that has this up and down feature, what we yeah. call a bifocal. The person has what we call a presbyopic predisposition mm. due to age um, in higher climbs um, I mean, and, and temperate climbs. You see it occurring from 45, mm. while from here you see it happening from 35, 40. Mm. Also due to lifestyle and exposure to UV rays. That's why we must begin to adopt protective lifestyle in our mentality in terms of what you're doing now is also wearing glasses. So even if there is an accident, it will hardly get to your eye. You have that yeah. defense mechanism. So now it now depends on what is in that lens now. Is it mm. UV protected? That's where we have machines where we could put it in and you see the UV reading. So you know if it is zero UV protection or maximum UV mm. protection and things like that. So you have, like I said, you have your myopia, so your short-sightedness. So mm. now most times when people... They, they get it reversed. Oh, it's from the word myopic. Yeah, myopic. Yes. <laughs> myopic, yeah, that's short sight. Many times people get it reversed. Mm. So when they can't see things that are close, they say they are short-sighted. Mm. No, it's when the person cannot see images that are far off, that's then you say the person is short-sighted. While it's the reverse is the case, when mm. people are having problems focusing on near objects, you could say the person is far-sighted, but like I said, it could be presbyopia. So the doctor is in the best position to say, based on the factors that are availed to the doctor or released or revealed to the doctor, the person will be able to tell you if it is short-sightedness, long-sightedness, as we call it, presbyopia mm. or astigmatism. Now, astigmatism is another one that is kind of like in between. So it has to do with the um, irregularity of the cornea shape. So there is a way the cornea, the cornea is a tissue in front of the eye from your picture on the, on the screen, it's a clear, transparent tissue. You really cannot see it with your naked eyes, unless through histological process like using your ophthalmoscope or your slit lamp. Mm. Um, these are machines the doctor will use in examining. Now, um, if this cornea is not properly shaped, because that is your first point of contact with light when it gets to your eye, so it will direct it on through the other structures to your lens, which we talked about in cataract, mm -hmm. and then to your retina. When your retina gets this image, it sends it like electrical impulses to your brain, and then your brain tells you, I'm seeing a man, not a tree. Wonderful. Fantastic. And the good news you shared with our Dr. Samsetti is a lot of this are treatable. It's not a dead center. No, no, cataract is not a dead center. Yeah. Trust me. But, so, but like I said, we must be sure of the cause. So mm -hmm. if it is diabetic, the doctor will not only treat the cataract, but he has to deal with the sugar problem first. Mm. If it is as a result of um, ingestion of a lot of steroids, like these guys who want to pump up, mm. you know, they want to six macho pack. six yeah. packs. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's six packs. <laughs> so ingestion of those steroids can cause cataracts. It's one of the side effects. Now, no side effect, one of the causes can of cataracts. Cause it. Of cataracts. Yeah. Now let's look at uh, the relationship between cataract and river blindness is there a similarity or river different? blindness you yes. mean this is another topic now okay. river blindness is onchocerciasis it happened to be a project that i was involved in even while i was in school and out of the school it was initiated during the babangida regime to eradicate what you call the black fly simoleon damnosum okay now i don't has want it to been go eradicated to... it has been it has almost been mm. eradicated especially in the south region of course you still have skirmishes because as at 2002 when we went to certain villages in Edo State, specifically Ivio Dehain, where the um, ivermectin drug was in distribution, we were going to measure the impact of these drugs that were distributed. Because what you had was, you had this helicopter spray. So there was this chemical, mm. and they tried to kill the flies and everything, and then you now had the drugs giving, Admins. administered to this, and it's kind of like a twice-in-a-year drug that you give to these people. So we went and we were checking for the um, effects of these drugs on these people. So we noticed that well, some of them still had skin, papules, they were a lot, a reduced amount of uh, okay. effect on the eye. All now right. let's take this call, Rabiu from Ogun State. Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. Good, good morning. morning to you. Uh, good, uh, from Gombe yeah, State, rather. I just want to ask about the cataract uh, issue. I did operation on that, on my left eye. Okay. So up to now, uh, it's like I'm still having difficulty of, uh, of vision. So I don't know if it is possible for me to do another operation. Okay. Now, um, he mentioned that he did surgery. Yes. Now, you know, when we get calls like this, we are not sure of the entire history. So the first question will be, where did you do your surgery, sir? Hello? Where, where? did you do your surgery? Where was the surgery done? And when? So at Lokoja, Federal Medical Center in Lokoja. Okay, Federal Medical Center in Lokoja. Were there yes. other issues you had, systemic issues, 
How, no, how old are you, sir? I'm 31 now. Oh, now. 32, yeah, 32. For a 31 year old, it means yeah, what, yeah, we're talking about did, traumatic cause. Sorry? I was 31 when I did the operation last year. All right. Okay, so what, what were you told caused the cataract? Because no, at your didn't. age, you're not supposed to be having cataract. Cataract, yes. yes. So they test for my sugar level and it, they said it was okay. So when they did the surgery, so after some, I think after two or three, four one months, so I have to go back again and complain. Then they told me that they have to replace the lens again. So and they replaced another lens. So still up to now, I'm still having difficulties of vision on that uh, left eye. Okay, mm. okay. But you can see, but you're having difficulties. Yes. Okay. If I should close the right hand, the right side, the, the, the vision becomes blunt and... I can't read from afar. Okay, okay. Now, I think what he's saying now has to do with the technicalities involved in the quality of lens that was implanted while the surgery was done and the quality mm -hmm. of course. Now, you have different types of cataract surgeries that are done by mm -hmm. ophthalmologists in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, you have what we call the ECCL, the extra cap uh, capsular cataract extraction. Then you have the um, phaco emulsification. Now, depends on the level of cataract. Like you see, I asked the question at 31, I'm not expecting to see yeah. a cataract. So if I see a cataract, you can see now it's normally cataract is binocular. But in his own case, it's monocular, which means one he eye. may have had, yes, one eye. Mm -hmm. He may have had an injury a long time ago that probably he wasn't aware of. And over time, it developed into that cataract because cataract eventually will begin to disturb vision. And when it becomes a problem, the doctor... Or and the he had confirmed that he's not diabetic. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. The diabetes yeah. is not... I'm, I'm going back now to trauma mm -hmm. because that's the only thing I can relate mm -hmm. to it here. And like I said, there are other causes like people that smoke. So I can't start asking him about lifestyle on, yes, on TV. Exposure mm -hmm. to yes, smoke. and all those things because he's staying in Gombe. Yeah. So you have to look at the terrain and things like that too. Of course, I've worked in Meduguri and I know they are more susceptible to eye-related problems in terms of the exposure to the sun, dust, and lifestyle in general. Like when you asked me about Uncle Sekasi, I told you, I said, Uncle Sekasi had eradicated in most parts in the south, but I didn't mention the mm. north. Mm. Okay, because lifestyle, there's still a lot of campaign that have to go on in and those areas. awareness for Create them. awareness in terms of, you know, how you handle things like you mentioned river blindness, trachoma, those are things that have to do with generality of the populace in terms of how they live. So now back to his question, because yeah. um, I don't want to run away from that yeah, well, question. Just before you finish answering his question, in case Ade's question is quite similar, we have Ade from Lagos. So okay. I'd like to take Ade's call. Ade, please, um, you're welcome to Hello Nigeria. Could you kindly keep your question very short yeah, so that we can respond morning, to it? Hello, Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, fine. Um, uh... I have had, thank God that you're having a doctor in the house today, standing high. It has been a long day. I have an accident on my left eye, while in school. Somebody can hit me. His volume, I uh, can you speak up, please, and turn down the volume Somebody of your TV? We can barely hear you. I let her part of my door on my left eye. So, so I've, been, I've been reading about the story I'm having now. When I'm reading, my. Vision is normal blue. I don't find it very well. See, is it not? Is it just those scars that are pain or what? Actually, it's all. Right. Okay, I think from what he's saying, he's not sure whether he has cataract, but he yeah, has he, blur vision. Yeah, and he had a trauma on okay, the eye. Okay, when he has. Yes, yeah. So, um, it's very easy, sir. The first thing you should do, I think, Mr. Alade or so, Ade, Ade. Ade is yeah, yeah, yeah. see a doctor, because now you had an injury to that eye. So we are not even sure how the lens looks, how the vitreous looks, how the aqueous looks, or the retina itself. Because whenever there's trauma, I want to know what kind of trauma. Was it blunt trauma? Was it a sharp, was it a penetrating injury trauma? Because you could have a situation where like a screwdriver can go into the eye. Mm. We've seen that a lot. Like for people who don't work with protection, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And then you could have people, maybe you try to separate a fight and then you Thank became you. the recipient of that blunt trauma. Mm. So you want to know, and even if there's blunt trauma, is it perforating? Does it go around, but obviously it, doesn't, it didn't get to that. So I'm assuming it's a blunt trauma. So if it's a blunt trauma, I want to know the impact, what happened to the eye itself. Because it's not just how you feel after taking paracetamol or taking clonophenical eye drop. Because that's what most people do yeah. when they have injuries. It's, it's not advisable. You should see, we should develop that habit of seeing a doctor. Specialist. Yes, in this case now. So your advice to Aden now, very be simple, see go and see a doctor. And I care provider. And you're in Lagos. We have over, at least if I'm not mistaken, over 100 eye clinics mm. in Lagos. So Do the 
State Primary Health Clinics take care of eyes too. Yes, because I happen to have worked in the Ogudu Primary Health Center, okay. which offers local government. So what they do at the primary health level or their primary health centers is to like like a basic intervention. So if you have um, you want to know what the problem is, you come Diagnosis. in. Because honestly speaking, it's not as equipped as it's supposed to be. So what we could do is to do the basic diagnosis, know what the problem is, and know where to refer to. So if it's a problem we could handle at the PHC level, we handle it like basic things like conjunctivitis, mm. um, refractive errors, we could yeah. intervene at that level. Because we've had cross referrals also from Luth to the PHCs when they are overwhelmed and they know that these things can be handled can at the PHC. That, yeah. So they tell you, go back to the PHCs. Quick one, let's dismiss this myth, yes or no, in 20 seconds. Apollo conjunctivitis, popularly known as Apollo to laymen, is it a seasonal thing or is it caused by lifestyle choices? Apollo, as we know it, is actually what we call acute viral or acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis. It is um, hemorrhagic in terms of there's blood, it's yeah. bloody, it looks bloody and acute because of the sudden onset. But it's usually as a result of a viral attack. Okay. It's viral in nature. And highly yeah. contagious. It's very, very because contagious. Because, of course, it's viral. Mm. Now, one question as well that people ask is cataracts contagious? I know no, cataract is not, not contagious. contagious. It's hereditary. But it's hereditary. It's hereditary. Yeah. All right, wonderful. Thank you. But, like you. I said, there is also the predominant factor of the fact that even if it's not hereditary, when you get old and the loose fibers on the lens begin to aggregate mm. due to lifestyle and exposure to UV rays, there's a tendency to Can have it cataract. lead to blindness? It can lead to blindness, but yes. it is avoidable blindness. It's avoidable blindness. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard very well analyzed by Dr. Sam Sedi, and we really want to say thank you very much thank for you you very coming. Much, sir. Thank and you very much, And for being kind enough. Now, if people wanted to follow you on Twitter, because I know people like Rabiu or Ade who have further questions, questions to ask okay. you, what, how could they follow you? Um, the Twitter handle is simple, at Ocuville, O-C-U-V-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. All right. O C U. V I L L E. I was almost forgetting the spelling. <laughs> so it's mm -hmm. at Occuville. Okay. Or you could website? send uh, you could send an email okay, to N O A Lagos. Okay. N O A Lagos at gmail.com. Alright. N O A Lagos at gmail.com. N O A Lagos at gmail.com yes. or at Occuville O C U V I L L E on Thank Twitter. You. Thank yeah. you for being so generous with your information. Thank you very much. Because I know much. that you Thank might, you. at the risk of being bombarded by lots of questions. <laughs> no, we'll, I, I promise when, when, when these questions come in, yes. we'll make up time. As long as you don't ask the question at night, because we have to wait till yeah. morning when we wake yeah. up yeah. to answer the questions. Right, wonderful. Yes. Thank, Thank you very you much, much indeed, ladies much. and gentlemen. Now, before we close, before we go um, end today's show, we'd like to just let you know what's happening today in history. Today, the 18th day of of July 2017. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Today we celebrate the birthday posthumously of an icon in the person of Nelson Mandela. He was born today in history on the 18th of July. He needs Today's no Mandela introduction. Mandela Day in South Africa. Yeah, yeah, Mandela Day, and rightfully so. Happy birthday to Madiba. Also today in history, Vin Diesel was born uh, mm. actor, actor, screenwriter, producer, and director um, known for his role in the Fast and Furious fran franchise. Also, Wendy Williams was born today in history, outspoken talk show host from several radio shows who became known as a shock joquette and later hosted the Wendy Williams show. If it's your birthday, happy birthday from all of us here on Hello Nigeria. We say we hope you have a happy celebration today. Thanks once again to our special guest, Dr. Sh Sam Sidin. Sam Sedi. Sam Sedi, John. Sam John. <laughs> Sam Sedi, John. That's a very interesting name, sir. Very, very interesting. Very interesting yeah. name. Yeah. Sam Sedi, like John. Like I deal with an interesting part of the... Body, body yes, eye. and <laughs> deal so passionately as well. I'm <laughs> telling you, because Doctor, blindness most of the time is preventable. Yes, yeah. I think that's something we must take away with us. Blindness yeah. most of the time is preventable, so yeah. we don't need to get to that point. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Sam Sedi, who is the vice chair of the Nigerian Optometric Association, Association Lagos NOA chapter. Lagos yeah. chapter. Thank, Thank you. you to every single person who's called in or tried to call in. Unfortunately, we couldn't take all your calls today, but don't forget, we do this again tomorrow, 12 noon to 1 p.m. Now, Wednesday, is Woman Wednesday and will bring you a phenomenal woman who will be speaking to us about her story and her journey. From Benga Bawa, Aya Thompson, and of course, Oliver Modi in absentia, we say have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you very much for tuning in. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.